Fire officials in Northern California say cooler temperatures and higher humidity later this week could help them get a handle on the huge wildfire around Yosemite National Park. Officials say the fire grew to about 288 square miles by Tuesday night, making it the biggest wildfire in the Sierra Nevada's recorded history. As of Tuesday, uh, this fire has burned 180,000 acres. Uh, thanks to firefighting efforts throughout the week, we've already been able to get a handle on 20% of that fire. The fire has burned at least 111 structures, including at least 31 residences. Firefighters say it spread quickly due to a combination of recent drought and an unusually long time between wildfires that left a massive amount of fuel on the forest floor ready to burn. When a fire gets into an area that hasn't burned in a long time and those fuels are so dry and the fuels are so thick, we get a really, really hot fire. Smoke and ash from the fire are having an impact on air quality in the Reno, Nevada and Lake Tahoe area, about 100 miles away from Yosemite. A Reno hospital reported a slight increase in smoke-related ailments, and school children were kept inside in Carson City. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.